Well, the U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry said it is time for hard decisions to be made on the peace process in the Middle East. Such talks have been stalled for nearly three years now. Kerry lobbying hard to get the Palestinians and the Israelis back to the negotiating table. World Affairs reporter Elise Labatt is in Jerusalem and joins us uh, now live. Uh, you know, just even reading that, I, I, I'm just struck by the deja vu of it. How many times have we said the same things over previous administrations, not just years? What, what, what's the optimism here? Um, well, certainly John Kerry has a lot of optimism, Michael. And I think that's one of the things, few things, that Israelis and Palestinians can agree on, that John Kerry really wants this very bad and is putting forward a lot of efforts. Now, at the same time, neither side is really making those hard choices that he's talking about. On the uh, Israeli side, the settlement construction continues, and that's something the Palestinians say that has to stop before they'll go back to talks. And on the Palestinian side, they're saying that they might go to the United Nations and other key international bodies and seek recognition, for instance, at the International Criminal Court, and that's something Israel doesn't want threats from the Palestinians. So what John Kerry said today is, listen, folks, you need to get your act together. I can't want it more than you. And it's time for some, some hard choices. Everybody knows what needs to be done. It's time for you to start making some hard decisions and show that you're serious. Yeah, but again, again, the deja vu. We, we, we have heard this before. And, and as you say, it, it's a, a lack of willingness on both sides, really, to make those hard choices and really just about... Uh, the same old stuff we've heard before. The Israelis will say the Palestinians won't come and talk without preconditions. Palestinians will say, you're building settlements every day. You're expanding, expanding, expanding. How are we going to have a state to talk about? What, what are the Americans able to do to get, I don't know, some reality into this? It's becoming nonsense. Well, it, it is becoming nonsense. We don't like to say that, but it really is a lot of deja vu. And, and John Kerry recognized the skepticism. He said that there's been a lot of disappointment. He's really trying to put confidence-building measures in place, giving each side a little bit about what they want. He's working really hard on security guarantees for Israel. Um, John Allen, former chairman of the Joint Chief of Staff, now is a special envoy here on the ground trying to work out security arrangements for a future state. On the Palestinian side, he's working very hard on uh, an economic development plan to really build a Palestinian economy. But he said, listen, I'm going to give this a couple more months. I'm going to put down my peace plan, and then I'm going to look at who's making the hard choices. And he said he's no problem calling the parties out on who's serious and who's not. And you've seen in, in recent years, and in fact throughout the whole conflict, that as you said, each side blames each other. Well, if you have an American Secretary of State that is willing to call a spade a spade, I think that puts the parties on the spot a little bit. And John Kerry, you know, his aides are saying, listen, for years you've complained that the America is not fully engaged in the peace process. This guy has made clear this is his top priority. And so uh, now they can't use the Americans as an excuse anymore. It's really going to be up to each person to prove that they're not the ones being the obstacle. Yeah, and, and, and it'd be interesting to hear if he actually does do the calling out there. The U.S. does uh, have a very big stick it can use as well, and that, uh, that's money, money that goes to both sides, but uh, billions to Israel. Exactly. Exactly. And also to the Palestinians. I mean, I think you've seen... Uh, you know, the, the, in recent years, the U.S. aid to the Palestinians isn't as, as flowing as it used to be sometimes. Um, after the uh, Palestinians went to the United Nations, they held up some of the funds. Whether they're willing to do that for Israel remains to be seen because there are a lot of other security uh, components in the region, Iran, for instance. But certainly, I don't think John Kerry is going to shy away from uh, calling a spade a spade and, and saying what he really thinks. It's just a question of whether his optimism, his enthusiasm will be met by actions by both sides. Yeah, exactly. Uh, don't hold your breath. Elise, always good to get your thoughts. Good to see you there in Jerusalem. Elise Labbott.